Hello and welcome to Webcom Designs video tutorial guide. In this video, we will discuss about BuddyPress Member Block Pro plugin and how one can try its demo. You will find the Try Demo button on the sales page of the plugin available on our site. You will also find the change log and documentation link here. You can go through the documentation. It will help you to find the plugin settings inside the demo. So let's move forward and check how one can try the demo. You just need to hit on the try demo button available on the sales page. Then you will be redirected to the sandbox page where you need to enter the name and the email address and hit on the launch your site button. It will take few seconds to prepare your sandbox and it will be available for 2 hours for testing. You will be redirected to the multi-site having all our paid plugins. Now we will move to the particular side of BuddyPress Member Block Pro plugin. We will find the settings inside the WP plugin section. Let's check the general settings. Once the plugin is installed and activated, the add new post page will be created and mapped here inside the plugin setting. Else you can create a page with this short code BP Member Block Pro and map that page here. So this add new post form will allow your community member to add blog post to your site from the front end only. Admin have the ability to restrict this feature for selected user roles. So you can enable the user role from here whom you want to allow posting feature. You can set the default status of the blog from pending review to publish so that your members can directly publish on the site. However, I have currently set it as pending review. One can submit the blog, then admin can review it from the here post CPT and then that blog will be available for users to read. Next feature is to enable category option so that you can allow your members to create a custom category. They can select the blog post category from the drop down links. These categories are available which are created by the admin here. But I have enabled this option so the users can also create and add their own category. Media management, if the associated, if the blog is deleted, then its associated media files will also be deleted. Admin can exclude the category if he do not want the members to post in that particular category. He can add this category here and no one can select this category. And the next feature is to rename the blog tab name and slug as blog tab is also available on the member profile area. So one can rename this blog tab and its slug. All the users, all the blogs created by the user will be available, will be listed here. And one can edit, unpublish or delete the blog post from here. Next is restrictions. So one can restrict as per the user role how many blogs they can publish per hour or on the basis of per day, week, month or year. And they can add the restriction, different restriction for different user roles. This is group integration feature. One can also integrate a blog post with the group. The group will be listed here. So one can select the relevant group from here. It will only list the groups in which the current logged in user is a member. And uh, once you enable the group integration, there will option who can post blogs in the group. You can select the user roles here and you can select in which type of group one can post the blog. 
you can enable this option if you want to notify the group members about a newly published post by creating a group activity that new blog post is published now let's move to the notification tab you can enable these option as per your requirement you can allow admin users and other users who create a post to get notifications admin notification the admin notification will get a notification for review the post created by a user this option will work if enable user publishing is disabled if user publishing is for pending review then admin will get a notification that there is a new blog post to review so admin can review it from here and it will be available for users to read and member notification members will get a notification when their blog post is approved if there are multiple admins on your site then you can select which admin can get the approval notifications next you can set the subject and content of the email notification the email notification which admin received and the email notification which member received let's check by creating a blog post from the front end so i'm creating a tiny blog post i can also create new category and add Tags. I have posted this inside the group. I have added the feature image. If you want media inside the blog post content, you can add it from here. And just hit on create a new post. Then admin will receive a notification. Currently. My post is under review. And once the admin read and publish it from here, it will be available on the blog page. Here and inside my profile blog tab. Here. From here, I can edit it, I can unpublish it, or I can delete it. So, this is all about BuddyPress Member Blog Pro plugin. If you have any question, please drop a comment below. Bye for now.